Hey, Jeff here again. We're going to keep focusing on some of these myths that are out there as far as exercise goes because when you clear them up, it's, it, sometimes you can uh, really get your workout routine rolling in the right direction when you're not so uh, focused on really some bad information that you might have gotten. One thing I continue to read about, and it really can be cleared up easily, is people talk about being in the fat burning zone when you're doing cardiovascular. I know every piece of cardio equipment has the fat burning zone compared to the aerobic zone compared to the anaerobic zone. <clears throat> and the fat burning zone is typically at a very much, a very lower heart rate than some of the other zones. And so people tend to follow along with what those pieces of equipment say and try and be in that fat burning zone when they're really kind of, um, I mean it's not like you're not doing anything, but you're not doing as much as you could. And we're going to make it into a simple math problem. I was never a big math person, so I'm going to make it very simple. So what they're talking about, let's say you do a, an exercise for 30 minutes. And I'm going to make the calories burn very simple. It's going to be small. Say you burn 100 calories. And so they're saying if you're in that fat burning zone, maybe 50% of those calories are from fat. So you're burning 100 calories overall, 50 of those calories are from fat. So you kick up your heart rate then. And all of a sudden you're in the aerobic zone. And let's say for that same period of time, you all of a sudden burn 300 calories, okay? But let's say in that one, instead of 50% of the calories burned are fat calories, 30% are fat calories. Now, you're gonna be burning 300 calories overall, but maybe but 100 of those are gonna be from are being fat calories. But what you have to look at is your overall calories burned are higher, and your fat calories that you've burned are more, even though that percentage decreased. So be, be aware that they're just talking about percentages there. It can be okay, but it can be very misleading so that when you're doing your exercise, you can probably get more out of that by kicking up that heart rate. It's so important to get that heart rate up, you know, not just to burn calories, but to really get your cardiovascular working hard too. All right, love for you to share this channel with your friends and family. Follow this YouTube channel, and we'll talk to you again soon.